it's time to start another beautiful day, my good people. Just drop my son off for work. His work, you know, a kid's work in school. So I dropped him off to go ahead and do his part. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hit this gym real quick. Go hard in the gym, get my Monday started off right, and started off strong. It's a lot to take care of today. But the thought was going through my head as I was driving my son to work, uh, listening to news talk radio. And one thing, the news is very judgmental. Uh, it's supposed to be objective, but a lot of these individuals on news talk impart a subjective opinion that has nothing to do with the relevance of the story most of the time. Most of the time. Sometimes you agree with their side of the story, so you like them. They're like, yeah, you know, I agree with that. I agree with that opinion, opinion that that guy was a punk. You and me, we, we are vibing. Save my belief right now. Come on, buddy. No, no, I'm not. I believe a person delivering the news to a broad audience should be 80% objective, 20% subjective, and when they are offering a personal opinion, they should be responsible to let the world know this is my personal opinion. You don't have to agree with it. But when I was listening to the news, I thought something, something just rang inside of my soul like, if I am talking to a person, or listening to a person talk, around the conversation, eavesdropping into the conversation, and I hear this individual say three things negative about someone else before saying anything positive about an individual. That person has just told me everything about their self-confidence. I don't care if you're beautiful and you walk around like you're beautiful and you're dressed like you're beautiful, you smell like you're beautiful, probably taste like you're beautiful. If the first three things I hear you say, and, and I mean, this is just on a broad stance. If the first three things I hear you say are negative, negativity, putting somebody else down, defaming somebody's character. If the first three, three things I hear you say is talking mess about somebody else, you just told me you are ugly. And not that I should view you ugly, that you view yourself as ugly. You have so many questions about yourself that have gone unanswered that you are afraid to take a look at self. And instead of taking a look at self, you would rather find what's wrong with everyone else in hopes that you can bring yourself up a little bit. You are not bringing yourself up at all. Because in essence, what you're doing is taking someone else Finding a fault in someone else, trying to push that person down, but your consciousness will not allow you to push that person down beneath you. So after you done beat somebody else verbally up, you're going to walk away feeling lower than that person you just beat up after trying to pull that person lower than you. So you just beat your spirit down, just another couple notches, beat that spirit down. It doesn't tell me that you are an ugly person. I can see you as the most beautiful person, but what makes you ugly is what you think about yourself. So when your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother, your best friend tells you, baby, you're beautiful. Inside, you're staring, you're pining, trying to accept that compliment, but your, your beautiful spirit is rejecting the hell out of that compliment. When you're rejecting life, you're dying. 
And since misery loves company, you want to kill somebody else's life. Oh my goodness. Misery loves company, doesn't it? But you know what also loves company? The other side of misery, baby. So instead of pining to try to find something in this society that you can beat down to try to lift your spirit up, look at the beauty in society. Allow that beauty in society to coincide with you and lift you up. It is a more revelant rising. Trust me it is, man. Every time you say something ugly, say five things beautiful, okay? The first five things that come out of your mouth about another individual, if one was ugly, somebody should hear the next four being beautiful. And what are they going to remember? That person speaks beauty, respects beauty, understands beauty searches for beauty pulls beauty out of people because a confident individual is going to lift other people up a confidence confident individual is going to give people more confidence a confidence is the individual shares confidence exudes confidence see confident individuals focus on someone else's self confidence or trying to feed someone force feed at that self confidence because you're not only bashing the person you're talking about you're devaluing the people around you you're trying to get those people around you to relate and validate you so they can fall into that same black hole that eventually they're going to need to climb out as well. You should be on top of that black hole looking down in it trying to pull everybody out of it that you can get. And if you're halfway in that black hole yourself, you should be looking down, trying to pull everybody up to your level. Looking up, trying to go up to the next level. But you should never be, never ever be looking up, trying to pull those up there down to your level and then throw the asses further. If the first three things that come out of someone's mouth about someone else is negative, you done spoke volumes about yourself. I didn't even hear what you said about that other person. Happy Monday. Sorry for this long, long video. I'm out.